Newfoundland and Labrador is on the brink of an economic upheaval that will test every assumption we've made about our future. As artificial intelligence AI, advances at unprecedented speed, we stand at a crossroads, either seize the moment to become a leading beneficiary of this new industrial revolution, or ignore the warning signs and face a crisis more severe than the pandemic and even the collapse of our fisheries combined. What keeps me up at night is how unprepared we seem to be. I've spoken with executives, government officials, and technology sector professionals, and while many acknowledge AI is arriving fast, new tools seem to appear weekly, few are seriously considering the fundamental impact on our provincial economy. Some see AI as the next shiny gadget, others find it too unsettling to think about. But the reality is that the window to shape our destiny is closing quickly. If we don't confront this directly, we risk massive disruption to our jobs, government revenue, and entire way of life. At the same time, this threat is a once-in-a-generation opportunity. By taking bold, visionary steps right now, we can leverage AI to spark a genuine renaissance. New industries, new revenue streams, and sustainable economic growth that safeguards our future. It won't be easy. It will require strategic thinking, investment, and a willingness to embrace change. But the alternative, simply waiting and hoping, is far too dangerous. Business leaders, policymakers, and influencers in Newfoundland and Labrador, this message is for you. If you care about creating high-quality jobs, protecting our fiscal stability, and ensuring that our children grow up in a thriving, competitive province, I urge you to pay attention. Give me a few minutes to show you what's coming, to detail the strategies that can help us not just avoid catastrophe, but transform it into a historic turning point we have one chance to catch this boat before it leaves the dock. Let's not miss it. To confront this threat and seize the opportunity, we must first understand the speed and scale at which AI is accelerating. We're now approaching the second anniversary of ChatGPT's release, and already, according to a Pew Research survey, 55% of people in North America regularly use AI tools. AI is the fastest growing, quickest adopted, and most rapidly accelerating technology in human history. Yet most people still think linearly when trying to predict where this is headed. Our brains naturally look backward at the last decade and project that image forward to predict the future, happening at roughly the same pace. That might have worked when major new technologies emerge slowly, every 10 years or so, but AI is evolving on a monthly, even weekly basis. Last week alone, I tested five new AI tools. Even as someone who dedicates much of my time to tracking these innovations, I can barely keep up. Consider ChatGPT itself. Two years ago, when it first hit the scene, 2023, it was intriguing but limited. It scored about 83 on standardized IQ tests, which, while respectable, still placed it below the average human professional. Today, the newest model, ChatGPT-01 Preview, scores about 120 overall, outperforming roughly 90% of people, and achieves a verbal IQ of 155, surpassing 99.9% .9 of us. This isn't theory, I've experienced it. Having spent more than a decade in university study, I was once able to outperform the first version of ChatGPT in areas of my expertise. Now, with the newest model, it can do about 80% of my specialized work better, and certainly faster, than I can. Whether it's preparing lecture notes, conducting engineering analysis, or drafting a business strategy, it excels. It's not just my experience. ChatGPT recently outperformed doctors on both clinical reasoning and providing high-quality, empathetic answers to patient questions. Even more startling, the study showed that adding human doctors into the process made the diagnoses less accurate. AI alone outperformed the doctor plus AI team. Now imagine this kind of disruption in every knowledge sector. How long before AI surpasses most of us across all intellectual, creative, and knowledge domains? Many top AI scientists believe we'll reach artificial general intelligence AGI, where AI matches or exceeds human-level cognition in nearly all areas, well before 2029. Traditionally, passing the Turing test was considered the yardstick for human-level AI. Researchers at OpenAI noted that in 2024, we can argue that milestone was already reached. Once we hit true AGI, these systems won't just match average human performance, specialized AI tools will surpass even the most brilliant experts. 
This will create a world that feels radically unfamiliar, and it's coming soon. Even now, the biggest targets of this disruption aren't manual labor jobs. Those we feared would be replaced by robots, but white-collar and creative positions. Tasks once requiring advanced education, from writing legal contracts and designing ad campaigns, to diagnosing illnesses, sending customer emails, and coding complex software, are being automated. Goldman Sachs estimates that 300 million jobs worldwide will be lost or profoundly changed by new AI technologies. Understanding the acceleration of AI is crucial. It's not a distant future, it's here now, reshaping our world at an unprecedented pace. The question isn't if AI will transform our economy, but how quickly and how profoundly it will do so. What does that mean for Newfoundland and Labrador? A 2024 Statistics Canada report shows that 31% of Canadian jobs are high exposure, low complementarity, meaning they are highly susceptible to replacement by AI tools with little room for human workers to add value. Another 29% are high exposure, high complementarity, jobs where, at least initially, workers can partner with AI. The remaining 40% are low exposure. Applying these figures to our province's workforce of roughly 247,000 employed people, as of September 2024, would mean 75,000 jobs at high risk if we match the national average. After a careful sector-by-sector -sector analysis, I estimate that about 65,000 local jobs are at real risk. Industries like healthcare and oil and gas might face slightly less immediate displacement, but sectors like retail trade, finance, transportation, and related support roles are far more exposed. Consider that thousands of back office roles in retail, beyond just sales clerks, could vanish. Losing 65,000 jobs means $3.5 billion in lost personal income, a $660 million drop in government revenue, and a domino effect costing another 32,710 jobs. This would create a severe economic depression. You might say, we've weathered industrial revolutions before. But past transformations, like the one that moved millions from farms to factories, unfolded slowly over decades. This gave people time to retrain. Today, the pace of AI's development is mercilessly fast. A two-year college program or a multi-year apprenticeship may be outdated by the time a student finishes. The sheer scale of global displacement will saturate any field that temporarily remains viable. Imagine Becky, a bookkeeper who loses her job by 2026 as AI automates bookkeeping. She spends two years retraining to become a counselor, only to find that by 2028, AI therapy tools have gone mainstream. These tools were already impressive in 2024. Not only are human counselors struggling to compete with high-quality on-demand AI services, but displaced workers from many fields have retrained into counseling too, swamping the job market. Becky finds no stable career and abandons retraining altogether. This isn't a scenario where humans can simply keep moving up the skill ladder. From this point forward, all new roles will likely be better suited to AI, faster, cheaper, and more efficient. The bottom line is that we must face these changes head on. Our next step is to consider how Newfoundland and Labrador can position itself to thrive, not just survive, in this rapidly approaching era. How does Newfoundland and Labrador position itself to thrive in the AI revolution and mitigate the massive potential for job disruption? The answer lies in leveraging one of our greatest strengths, abundant, low-cost, green energy resources. As AI's growth accelerates, it's not just limited by chip shortages anymore. The next major bottleneck is the enormous amount of energy required to power AI compute clusters. This presents a unique opportunity for Newfoundland and Labrador to turn a global challenge into a local advantage. Today, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has called the demand for energy for AI insatiable. It seems the new gold rush is energy to power the massive expansion in AI compute. To put it in perspective, the power currently feeding all data centers worldwide is almost 60,000 megawatts. By 2028, that number is expected to more than double to over 140,000 megawatts. The extra energy needs are almost exclusively coming from AI, with 80,000 new megawatts, 80 gigawatts needed. You can see why tech CEOs are worried about where they will find that energy. Newfoundland and Labrador is abundantly energy rich, with vast untapped reserves of hydroelectric power. 
we have one of the lowest industrial costs for green energy anywhere in North America, with an industrial rate of 4.428 cents per kilowatt hour and a demand cost of 10.73 cents per kilowatt. We currently export about 4,000 megawatts of green power, enough to power 20 new large-scale AI data centers. In fact, there is only one place in North America that has a lower kilowatt-hour rate than Newfoundland and Labrador, and that is Quebec, with a rate of 3.619 cents per kilowatt-hour. One reason for that cheap rate is that they get some of their energy from us. In fact, nowhere in the USA can you get energy cheaper than here. That is a huge advantage, especially given the average energy mix of the US is 43% natural gas. Let's consider the energy needs for a new AI data center, like XAI's new Colossus training computer, which draws between 150 to 200 megawatts. When we look at the most favorable locations for new AI data construction based on energy costs, we find that eight of the top 10 locations are here in Canada, with Newfoundland and Labrador being the second best option. Moreover, Newfoundland and Labrador offer a host of additional advantages that make our province an ideal location for AI data centers. Our strategic geographical position on the eastern edge of North America places us closer to Europe than any other location on the continent, resulting in reduced latency for transatlantic data transmissions, a critical factor for AI operations requiring real-time data processing. The naturally cool climate here significantly lowers the need for energy-intensive cooling systems, reducing operational costs and environmental impact. We are also well connected globally through existing undersea fiber optic cables, ensuring high speed and reliable connectivity essential for AI compute clusters. This robust infrastructure supports seamless data exchange between North America and Europe. Furthermore, our province offers ample land for development at competitive costs, allowing for scalable data center expansion. The political stability and strong legal framework of Canada provide a secure investment environment while potential government incentives and support for technological innovation can further enhance the attractiveness of establishing operations here. By choosing Newfoundland and Labrador, companies not only gain access to some of the lowest cost greenest energy in North America, but also benefit from our strategic location, favorable climate, and supportive business environment. Establishing AI data centers here is not just a smart economic decision, it's a commitment to sustainability and a catalyst for local economic growth. The main way for NL to thrive in the AI revolution, which is now accelerating to massive proportions, is to provide our abundant green energy for use in the growing development of new AI data centers. This would provide new markets for our energy, offer a path forward for our economic development, fund our government, and mitigate the negative effects of mass technological unemployment, by retraining our workforce into either green energy generation and transmission or into high-tech workers building and servicing AI data centers. In sum, Newfoundland and Labrador can leverage its abundant, affordable green energy and strategic infrastructure to anchor the AI economy of the future. By focusing on attracting AI data centers and expanding sustainable power generation, we transform a looming crisis into a path towards stable government revenues diversified industries, and meaningful employment. We've laid out the challenges, rapid AI-driven displacement of tens of thousands of jobs, the risk of severe economic stress, and the near impossibility of retraining our workforce quickly enough by traditional means. But we've also identified a powerful opportunity, leveraging Newfoundland and Labrador's abundant, low-cost green energy to attract AI compute clusters and build a new economic engine that not only offsets job losses, but generates prosperity. To achieve this, we need a clear, coordinated strategy. Step 1. Attract major AI compute clusters to Newfoundland and Labrador. We must immediately attract global companies like XAI to build new large data centers here in the Avalon area, where we have the benefits of cheap power, a cool climate, undersea fiber access, and much more as discussed. Our goal is to build two new 200 megawatt class data centers per year over the next 10 years, totaling 20 data centers. Each data center brings about 850 permanent positions. Over 10 years, this initiative will create approximately 17,000 permanent jobs. During the construction phase, we can expect thousands more jobs annually. 
In terms of tax revenue, this could bring in an estimated $555 million over 10 years from income and sales taxes, with minimal direct costs to the province since the investment would primarily come from the private sector. Step 2. Rapidly expand green energy through run-of-river hydro facilities. We should identify locations for small-scale run-of-river hydroelectric power stations and start construction at a rate of four per year across the province. Each facility can generate around 30 megawatts of power. Over 10 years, this would add 1,200 megawatts of renewable energy to our grid. This effort will create approximately 720 construction jobs per year, since each project employs about 180 workers during construction. Once operational, each facility provides around 50 permanent jobs, adding 2,000 permanent positions over 10 years. The estimated cost is about $3.6 billion over 10 years, assuming $90 million per facility, which can be financed through public-private partnerships and recovered through energy sales. Step 3. Upgrade transmission infrastructure to maximize our advantage. We need to upgrade the Labrador Island link transmission capacity by 5,200 megawatts to allow us to use our current level of energy exports to power our new data centers instead of exporting power. We can still export any remaining power we can't use in province. This upgrade is estimated to cost $8.58 billion, which can be funded by a slight adjustment in electricity rates. By spreading the cost over 30 years, we would need an increase of about 2.142 cents per kilowatt hour. Even with this adjustment, our electricity rates would remain highly competitive, still cheaper than anywhere in the USA. This project would create approximately 8,580 construction jobs over a five-year period. The increased employment and business activity could generate an additional $555 million in income and sales taxes over the construction period. Once complete, we have a robust, future-proof grid that can handle growing demand and support long-term economic development from AI data centers and energy exports. Step 4. Massive retraining programs to bridge the skills gap. We should start a massive new retraining program that focuses on three career pathways. First is construction for energy and data centers, preparing workers for the jobs we're creating through our infrastructure projects, as well as other low AI exposure jobs. Second is training data center workers, equipping individuals with the technical skills needed to operate and maintain these facilities. Third is intensively training our current workforce that have jobs synergistic with AI in the advanced use of AI tools and skills, ensuring their longer-term employability. Step 5. Social supports in an AI-driven economy. We should earmark much of the new revenue derived from these projects to provide solutions to people who are displaced by technological unemployment, with a model similar to universal basic income and universal basic services. We should avoid spending the funds on fruitless retraining programs where the actual demand for jobs is not projected to be strong upon training completion. This social safety net will maintain community stability, reduce anxiety and unrest, and ensure that everyone benefits from the economic growth AI creates. We stand at a historic crossroads. AI will bring profound changes to our economy far faster than most can imagine, threatening tens of thousands of jobs. But we also have a unique window to leverage our province's green energy, strategic location, and infrastructure to become a central player in powering the AI revolution. By attracting AI data centers, expanding our hydro capacity with quick, flexible projects, upgrading our transmission lines, investing heavily in retraining, and establishing robust social supports, we can transform a looming crisis into a new era of growth, stability, and innovation. This is our chance to shape the future of Newfoundland and Labrador, ensuring that the benefits of AI are shared widely and sustainably. The choices we make today will define Newfoundland and Labrador's future for generations to come. We have the resources, the talent, and the opportunity to lead in this AI-powered era. Let's act boldly, invest wisely, and build a future where innovation drives prosperity and no one is left behind. The AI revolution is here. Let's rise to meet it and ensure Newfoundland and Labrador thrives, not just for today, but for tomorrow and beyond.